moisture continues to flow across central Montana. Overnight, we did see that rain transition over to pure snow as expected. But this morning, as we move along, you'll see these bands of moisture moving straight south once again due to that low pressure system that dropped straight out of Canada, pushing this moisture down to our south. We have a few watches and warnings on our watches and warnings map this morning. You'll notice a new polygon indicated in white there. As for the winter storm warning in pink, that is including Great Falls down to the south and east. Areas to the north of Great Falls, you notice, have been discontinued from that warning. That happened over the past hour to hour and a half, but the winter storm warning still in effect for areas above 4,000 feet. The National Weather Service still believes that over the at least morning hours to midday hours, we could see anywhere from three to six inches in lower elevations and between six and 14 up on the mountains. And that purple shade, of course, winter weather advisor, including the Lewistown community, that white shade, if you were wondering, is for a special weather statement for areas including Helena, mainly for the mountain passes. Uh, the visibility on mountain passes this morning could become quite obscured as wind picks up through the midday hours, picks up some of that fresh snow that mountain passes have seen. Actually, a quote from the Montana Highway Patrol through the overnight hours, they saw some folks out there joy riding the passes as they were snow covered. He said, this is not Mario Kart, quote, take care of yourself and do not come out here and joy ride the passes, which I can certainly agree with because some people are just trying to get home on those passes and maybe out there having fun, sliding to somebody. That could be a really bad day, especially on such a high elevation with some slick surfaces. But over into Minneapolis, we're seeing some convective systems moving off to the east. We really saw those ramp up through the late afternoon, early uh, evening hours last night. Quite a few storm chasers made their way up in that area. Reed Timmer and other few of the notable storm chasers made their way there. McDonald Pass, you can really see this morning. Check out the slick conditions there. And just as we say that, you saw in the first part of the show that really the passes were looking slick already, but we didn't quite get the visibility obscured that we have right now. And we already see the winds picking up some of that snow. Over into Monarch, you can't even see the canyon out here and behind the Monarch Canyon here, you just see white. And that's because Monarch, once again, then affected by those visibility conditions and wind picking up quite a bit of snow out there in the Monarch area. Over to Bozeman Pass, not as slick as McDonald Pass, but slick enough you see some snow over the roadways. It doesn't take much uh, through a lapse of judgment to really slide off the road and have a pretty bad day. But over on to your future track, really see some snow moving through central areas of Montana throughout the early morning hours to mid morning. But by mid afternoon to late afternoon, central Montana will see some of those clouds dissipate, as does the band of moisture that will be right over central Montana for most of the morning. If, it's, if it sticks around for any bit longer than mid afternoon, we'll really see it transition back over to rain through the afternoon to early evening hours. Tomorrow for your Saturday, winds pretty much die down. You'll see that on your future track for wind here to move through quickly, die down overnight. As for your Saturday, see a bit of wind in eastern Montana, but not nearly as much as we've seen over the past 48 hours. On through your future track, we'll see that some snow is still possible in southwestern Montana down towards areas like Big Sky. But as we move along throughout your day and into your weekend, you'll notice that we probably will hit this snow forecast by the National Weather Service for areas in central Montana pretty closely on the head. This includes the past 24 to the next 48 hours, of course. On into today, rain snow mix continues, but by the end of next week, you'll notice that we're closer to 85. I know it's a little chilly and windy in spots right now, but no matter what, anglers are always itching to get back out on the water and guides and those in the fishing industry are looking forward to another busy year. MTN's John Amy 